welcome back to another reading vlog. Oh my gosh, it has been so long since I've vlogged anything. This is gonna be insane. So this is the vlog for my Witch Please Readathon, which officially starts tonight. And I am already reading Fables Volume 2 that has witches in it. I don't know if the witches will be a part of this volume, but I'm going to count it anyway because I really love the first one. You all will see that. I think you've already seen it in my weekly wrap-up from last week. And um, hopefully... I can continue enjoying it. These are actually the graphic novels that inspired The Wolf Among Us, the game, um, I think it was on PlayStation, not sure. I played it on PC, it was super cool, I loved it. So finding out that there were graphic novels and that I could get them with Kindle Unlimited, like I'm definitely getting those and I'm definitely binge reading them. But let's talk about the books that I'm gonna read this week. Okay, so we are currently watching my parents' dog, Dusty, so he apparently has required that I lay down for this segment. Isn't that right, Dusty? Come here. As you can tell, he's really good at listening. Anyway, so the books that I'm going to be reading for this readathon are The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw, The Wise and the Wicked by Rebecca Potus, the Graces by Lori Eve, and These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling, and then I have The Fables volumes two through six, I believe, and if I go to McKay's and there's more, like, I'm definitely gonna get them, um, because this is, like, a super good graphic novel series so far. I also have Saga volume one and two, which I don't know if I'll get to those or not, because I don't think those are witchy related, but... I've got those as backup if I have nothing else to read. This should be an interesting vlog. Uh, starting Sunday at midnight, I will be doing a 24 hours of reading and I'm going to make a separate vlog for that, I think. Maybe, we'll see. But uh, this should be interesting. <laughs> and uh, four books in one readathon. Who thinks I'll be able to do that? I hope I can. The first book that I want to start kind of like skimming through tomorrow. Let me see if I can find it. They're all like laying on top of me. Is The Wise and the Wicked because this is going to be the first book that I pick up during the 24 hours. And then I will also be reading The Graces and, and If These Witches Don't Burn. So that's my stack for the 24 hours. And then I'm going to sprinkle The Wicked Deep throughout this week. This looks so dumb, but I'm gonna have to take this as part of my thumbnail because this is ridiculous. This, uh, this is a look, you guys, and I'm sure my hand is shaking like crazy, so sorry. <laughs> late and I never actually started vlogging for today oops um I went to work and then right after work we went to fanboy expo which is in town every July and I got some goodies so I want to show those to you all real quick I got a mug of all the different starters from Pokemon it's so cute I love it so much. Uh, and then and then I got two prints. I got Han and Leia. And I got Hogwarts, which are both gorgeous. Those are all from the same artist. I will link them down below because I love his work. And his wife is really cute because she, like, promotes his stuff for him and it's adorable. And then I'm not sure how like the entire booktube community is sleeping on this author, but this is Sinlin Ascends by Josiah Bancroft. I met him, he personalized the book for me, which I thought was really cool, but he's like on a Barnes and Noble like top 10 fantasy books of this year. 
Um, and I've never heard of him. So I've... <clears throat> but yeah, look. Ah! Um, but this book is basically about the Tower of Babel in like an alternate universe. Um, and this sounds super cool. It's an action adventure book, which I don't think I've ever read an adventure book before. But he was super nice, so I had to get the book from him. <laughs> and we'll see if I like it. But I don't see how I've missed this. Like, and his third book has a blurb from Pierce Brown on it, so I'm really confused how I've never heard of this guy. Okay, so I had to take Alan back to Fanboy Expo real quick just because there was a t-shirt that I couldn't stop thinking about and he had a weekend pass. So I sent him in there with money to get this shirt for me. So oh, I'm sure if you watch my 24 hour reading vlog, you'll know that like we got home a while ago, but I got a new Treasure Planet shirt. It looks super cool, I love it. It's from a company called Who's It's and What's It's and they're all like Disney themed. Super cool, highly recommend. <laughs> Um, but I'm still reading These Witches Don't Burn, which I thought I would be done with by now, so this is a problem. Okay, so it's day three of the Witch Please Readathon. Um, sorry, I kind of had just like a random stop to yesterday, but we had a family emergency pop up at like 11.30 last night, so I uh, didn't read anything else, but I'm gonna finish the graces today and then I guess I'll work on some of the volumes of fables because I don't really want to read another full-length novel immediately because I'm burnt out from yesterday. Now that I'm back at home and Dusty's hanging out with me, I'm gonna try and read volumes three through six of fables tonight. Um, I might make it through two of them. I'm exhausted because we had to sleep with no sheets and no comforter and we had to sleep with like little blankets that barely covered us because a drink accidentally spilled in our bed and we did not notice until it was time to go to bed. So yeah, I did not sleep well at all and I got real sweaty and agitated at work. So needless to say, I'm gonna go to bed soon. So I failed to vlog any today until right now. So sorry about that. And I just realized I have eyeliner like all, or not eyeliner, I don't wear eyeliner. I have mascara all under my eyes. Oh, it looks hideous. Oh well, we're gonna run with it. Anyway, so I just finished Fables Volume 4. Um, I'm gonna try and do five and six tonight, and then I will start on The Wise and the Wicked tomorrow. This week is gonna be tough because I'm trying to clean our house and run the shop, like run our office by myself and read a whole bunch. So, yeah. But I think I'm actually doing pretty good. Um, this is day four, and I've read three full books and two graphic novels, so can't complain. Okay, so I'm at work. I finished Fables 4 and 5 yesterday, and this series is getting a lot sadder and darker than I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's actually really kind of emotional, which I was not prepared for, but um, anyway, Later today, once I'm off from work, I will be starting The Wise and the Wicked while I um, clean literally everything in my house. And uh, today's Wednesday, so I've got until Sunday before Alyssa comes home and I'm ready. Like, I have only ever been away from her for like two days at most and I'm starting to feel it. Like, I really just want her to be home. So excuse me while I cry a million tears because I just got to FaceTime Alyssa and I get the feeling she does not miss me at all. <laughs> um, 
they are having a blast down at Disney right now, but it's kind of killing me that I'm not there with them, but that's okay. I only have to make it through two and a half more days of work and then she'll be home. So hopefully I can make it. So I'm at work again and I totally forgot to read anything yesterday. I ended up starting a crocheting project and that kind of took all of my attention because all of a sudden it was like 11 o'clock and I needed to go to bed. So hopefully tonight I can actually read uh, The Wise and the Wicked because I've got today, Friday, and Saturday and then the readathon's over. So hopefully I can finish that last book because that's the one that I was like, really, really, really super excited about. Okay, so I'm the most inconsistent person this week. The first day I read three books and now I've only read two, three maybe? No, two. Two graphic novels since then. And tomorrow's the last day. So... I guess I better hope I can read The Wise and the Wicked super fast. Because <laughs> then I will have completed my entire Witch Please TBR, which would be amazing. But yeah, I'm at work. <clears throat> We probably have pizza night tonight, so it doesn't look like I'm gonna get home until real late. Okay, so this vlog has been like the worst vlog I've ever done. Um, I'm at work again. Thankfully, it's my last day without my mom being here because this week has been insane. Um, I'm hoping to finish The Wise and the Wicked today. I don't think I'll finish it, but um, I'm hoping to at least get a little bit of it done so that I can start, or I can finish it before the reading rush starts in two days. Um, so yeah, and we get Alyssa back tomorrow. I'm so ready. I miss her so much. And you all will see that in my next week's vlog because that won't go in this one. I'm ready. I'm excited. I miss her so much. <laughs> it's really weird being away from her for this long, so. But hopefully I can start The Wise and the Wicked today and have an update for you all before this vlog ends. Okay, so I ended up reading 178 pages of The Wise and the Wicked while I was at work today. <laughs> also, there's a moth, like, in our window. Anyway, um, so. I'm going to chill and potentially finish that book before I start cleaning like a mad woman because obviously the house behind me is a mess. So I will be cleaning all afternoon if I can after I finish this book. <laughs> um, and then I think that'll probably be the end, so. Okay, so I know I'm probably gonna end up getting in trouble for this if I ever get monetized, but I don't care. I am listening to my favorite Pandora station on our TV, and I'm ready to clean. Okay, so I never actually finished The Wise and the Wicked. I'm about 200 pages in. It's really good, but I'm not gonna be able to finish it tonight. Um, I'm too tired. I'm trying to clean a little bit before I go to bed. And uh, it's just, not, I'm just not gonna get another chance to pick this up. So I will come at you all tomorrow with my wrap up and then this vlog will be posted. Real quick, because this is the wrap up to my vlog, um, I read <laughs> The Wicked Deep, which I gave five stars. So good, amazing, I loved it. Then I read These Witches Don't Burn. Oh my gosh, again, loved it. 4.5 out of five stars, like. Can't wait for the sequel. The Graces by Lori Eve did not like two stars. Twilight with witches just was not a fan. And then the book that I didn't actually get to vlog very much of, and that is 
The Wise and the Wicked by Rebecca Potis because I technically finished this after the readathon ended, but I felt the need to go ahead and wrap it up in this. I didn't really care for this. Three stars. The characters were interesting. The plot was interesting, but there was like a twist halfway through and I didn't like the twist. I didn't think it was necessary. Uh, this was actually really underwhelming and I'm really sad about it because I was expecting to five star this book as well, but I don't know. Like, okay. This is flowery writing done correctly. This is flowery writing that is excessive <laughs> and doesn't make sense. Two very different books, two very different opinions. I understand there are people who don't like this book and there are people who love this one and I get that. But my opinion, fantastic, not so much. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching this readathon uh, vlog. I read four books plus a couple of graphic novels, which are really not that important. Um, I think I ended up reading three of those, but yeah, I will talk more about those in my monthly wrap up for July. Thank you all so much for watching. I had a blast reading these. Thank you if you participated. Tell me down below like what you ended up reading and how many books you got done. I would love to know. Please do follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads because that is where I will be posting about what I'm reading and what I'm thinking in future readathons, which I'm actually in the middle of another one <laughs> right now because my life is a mess. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!